lightweights and welcome to the channel update um, with my new hair, which is not looking very good on camera, but it's really cute in person. I don't know why it's looking so funky on camera, but here we are. Um, new hair. I chopped it off. I am going back to my natural color. This is not my natural color. This is darker than my natural color, but since I have bleached it for God knows how long, it's been probably 10 years <laughs> of bleaching it. Um, I have like zero pigment in my hair. So she went a lot darker than my natural hair color because it's gonna lighten up because my hair follicle won't hold on to it very well. So it's gonna be like a shifting, changing color for a while now, but it's cute, it's new, I needed a change. Um, being a fake blonde is really expensive and I just couldn't afford it anymore with not working my teaching job. So we decided to have a change, and by we I mean me and my apparently multiple personalities. I, I don't know, it's like weird on camera right now. I'm just gonna keep playing with it the whole entire time. I think it's cause it was curled and now the curls are like falling out, so now it just looks poofy, but whatever. Um, anyways, hi, welcome to the channel update. Uh, I just wanna do a little update because we are done with Batman. If you have been watching the Batman playthrough, some of this is gonna be a little bit of um, stuff you've already heard. Uh, but for those of you who have not been watching the Batman playthrough, I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page. Um, also, if you follow me on social media, some of this will be a little bit of a duplicate. But if you don't follow me on social media, I want to make sure you guys are all on the same page. So I'm just going to kind of run through a couple of things that I want to make sure everyone is aware of. So first and foremost, new hair. Hi. Um, we'll see if my personality is different. They say that blondes have more fun, so we'll see if that's true. <laughs> I don't freaking know you guys, I'm losing my mind. Okay, um, first thing I want to say, now that Batman is done, the next game that is going to be on the channel is GTA 5. A lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you have been requesting that since I finished Red Dead. Um, and pretty much every time I start a new game, it's when are you going to play GTA 5? Well, that answer is now. I'm going to play the... Um, remake, remaster, whatever the heck it is that is coming out, this is posting Monday, coming out on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to try to have that first video up on Tuesday. It might not make it up at 2.30 because I'll have to record it, edit it, get it out on the same day. Um, so it might be a little after 2.30, but my goal is to have the first GTA video up on Tuesday. A lot of you have said, why aren't you starting with four? It would make more sense with the story or something, I don't know. Um, but it's my understanding that you don't have to play 4 to understand 5, and 5 is definitely the most highly requested game that I have on the channel at this moment. So I'm going to start with 5. If I love 5, I can go back and I can play the other um, GTAs in whatever requested order you guys want. Um, but I, my fear was there are a lot of GTAs. Um, it's my understanding they're all a decent length. Uh, and I was worried I would be GTA'd out by the time I made it to GTA 5. And to be completely honest, GTA 5 is the only one I know anything about, and it seems that the world loves it, considering they're still making new GTA 5 online content. Um, people are still asking for it. They just have finally admitted to working on GTA 6. So clearly, this is a game I don't want to miss. So I didn't want to be tired of the franchise by the time I made it to five. So we're going to start with five. If I love it, I'll be open to suggestions for other ones, but I probably won't play them all back to back to back to back to back to back like I did with Batman. Um, just because I don't want other people to get franchise fatigue either. So we're going to start with five, see how it goes. See if you guys even like it. Um, see if I even like it and then we'll kind of go from there. So that's update number one. Well, I guess update number two, because update number one was my hair. Update number three, um, we are coming up on the three year birthday of the channel. Lightweight Gaming is turning three. She's a toddler now. So um, I want to do something special because we have reached massive milestones in terms of subscribers. Um, three years is just shocking to me. Like I, I started this for fun, I started this with the thought that it was just gonna be a hobby. I started this with the, it's something I've always wanted to do. I had talked about it for years and years and years and kept not doing it. And finally I was like, you know what? I can keep talking about it and not doing it and then regret not trying, or I can try it and worst case scenario, no one ever sees the videos. And now it's turned into this. So I really wanna celebrate that milestone. Um, I think three years is a pretty 
pretty important milestone because I feel like when you've done it for three years, you're past the point of giving up on it. Like I, I am fully invested. Mr. Light is helping me be fully invested. He supports me 100% and is allowing me to pretty much drop my adult job for my dream job. Um, and that's huge and I really want to celebrate that. So the reason why that is included in the channel update video is because I need your advice. Um, your suggestions. What would you like to see? What would you recommend I do for the three-year channel anniversary? Uh, if you follow me on social media, specifically Twitter, I threw out kind of like a random tweet just to get some ideas. There are some ideas on there. Some things that have been floated my way so far is doing a um, Q&A video or doing a, um, blanking out what they're called, live premiere video. So a video that's pre-recorded but has the live chat like we did with the end of our um, night. Um, another idea was to do an actual live stream. I've never done a live stream before besides one for my patrons. Um, so could do that. Um, so throw out your ideas. Those are the three I've seen so far. Um, let me know which one of those you like or if you have a different idea all together because I would like to do something. Um, I've also recently had some people ask me where they can send me things, um, which first and foremost, thank you. I don't never expect anything. So the fact that anyone wants to send me something is just really flattering. Um, I recently was introduced to something called Throne from A Girl in a Game. If any of you follow her, if not, go do that. She's awesome. She introduced me to something called Throne. So I've made an account and I've added some things, but basically what Throne is, it's like an Amazon wish list, but it can be from anywhere. Um, and there's no personal information involved. So um, I have a PO box, but like this stuff from Throne gets sent wherever I want it to be sent. And there's no shipping information that you guys see. And I don't see any shipping information. So if you are a little hesitant to send something because of your safety, your address, your confidentiality, I won't ever see that. Um, and this allows me to request things that are outside of Amazon without having to worry about my address being put on things either. Um, that being said, I do still have my PO box. So Throne is one option. I'm gonna link it in the description below. I'll also add it to like the permanent links that are always in the videos and I'll try to add it to my banner. Um, that's one option that has requests from a variety of places, not just Amazon. Um, I still technically have my Amazon wish list, but I couldn't tell you the last time I updated it. So who knows what's on there <laughs> anymore. Um, and if you just have like a random thing that you want to send me a letter, a card, a, a birthday card, I don't know. Um, I do still have my PO box and that is listed in the about tab of the channel. So if you are someone who would like to send something for the channel birthday, you can look at thrown gifts. There's a wide variety of things from things that are super cheap to things that are super expensive. Again, I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying for those of you who have been asking, that is an option. Throne gifts linked in the description below. Um, Amazon wish list, which I think is in the description already, uh, or is a channel, a banner link clicky thing, button, yeah, words. Um, or I have my PO box that you can send a card or a letter to, which I have gotten a couple letters. So thank you guys for those. That's really sweet. Um, so you've got a couple options for those of you who are asking about those. Um, and that leads me to another potential option for the birthday celebration we could do like a live birthday stream or pre-recorded birthday stream where we have cake and open presents and something silly like that i don't know um but that is just an option i i really don't know i'm i want to do something fun but i have no idea this is like my first time really doing something like this so let me know your thoughts your ideas um there is one more thing i should have made a list oh number four Yes, four. Um, some people have said that they are a little fatigued from the very long playthroughs, which I totally understand. Um, so I would like to, throughout these next three playthroughs, next through playthroughs, yep, these next few playthroughs, because we'll have Horizon, which is clearly gonna be a beast. We're gonna have GTA V, which is definitely gonna be a beast. Um, I would like to play some shorter, smaller games as well. Um, I'm thinking no more than like five hours, like max. Um, so if you have any suggestions on smaller indie titles or just smaller games that aren't necessarily indie titles that you would like me to play, um, that I can kind of 
play in tandem randomly throughout those playthroughs, let me know that as well. Um, a couple people have already mentioned um, Inside, uh, Little Nightmares 2, Portal, Firewatch. Those are a couple that people have thrown out, but if you have any others you'd like to see, um, please no more than five hours. Uh, that way I can post them once a week without it being super long. That would be awesome as well. And I think that's everything. Um, just gonna plug my Patreon, fan house, and channel memberships. I'm slowly starting to post on those again. Thank you for those of you who already are involved in those things. Um, you're slowly getting stuff again, and I am gonna start streams soon. I just have to have like a little channel powwow with Mr. Light because we have to figure out when that would work. I'll have to figure out childcare. Um, depending on when we can do it, and then I will update you guys on those. So if private streams are something you're interested in, make sure to check out Patreon, Fan House, or channel members. Um, it's not gonna be open to every level, but certain levels will be, and I have to update my channel membership for that as well, so um, stay tuned with that. But I think that's everything. So to recap, new hair, who dis? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was on me. I just made myself cringe, okay. Um, to recap, number one, new hair, hi. Number two, that was better. Number two, um, GTA 5 is the next game on the channel. Number three, uh, channel birthday coming up on March 31st, what should we do? And number four, give me smaller games to play, please. Okay, I think that's everything. Thanks for sticking with this. Um, these are super cringy and I never know how to end them, so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, I don't know why this would be your first video here, but if it is, Hi, subscribe, hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post a real video. Um, and thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.